Gemini, KPisces, KPisces.com, and I'm here with your October 2016 Love Edition. Let's go, Jonah. What I hear is, where do we go from here? Okay. Okay. Then I see some of you guys wrestling with yourself, and you know I grew up Christian, but that ain't my bag these days. I'm more spiritual, obviously. I don't do church. <laughs> but then I hear about the story about you know the story when they say that who the hell was it? Hell if I remember. Somebody was fighting an angel. And I feel like it's, you're like wrestling against yourself or what you think is the best decision for yourself. And, um, okay, so let me just tell you the gist of the story. I don't know if it was Abraham, who the hell it was, hell, who knows, don't matter. Here's the story. So, um, something about him wanting a blessing from an angel or some something like that. And um, him wrestling with the angel. And when the sun was coming up, the angel said it had to leave. That's like a scary story, doesn't it? Anyway, so we go back to the story. It says the angel had to leave, so and he wouldn't let the angel go until the angel blessed him. So something about the angel either dislocating his hip or something so he could let him loose, or whatever it was, but he wouldn't leave, he wouldn't let the angel go. Oh, what, what kind of angel can you wrestle? Another story will make no sense, but anyway, I digress. So... Anyway, so I kind of feel like what it means is you fight with yourself. You want to go, you want to know uh, as far as your relationship or what situation that you're in. You want to know something, you want information about which direction it's going. But I kind of feel like what it is, maybe the wrestling part is about you trying to decide what it is that you want to do and which direction you want to go, but you're not really sure. So you're kind of fighting with yourself about what it is. Maybe you feel spiritually there's something that is holding you back. But I kind of feel like it could be a block, but then it could just be you making bad decisions. Hell, you know, no, hey. You over here with K. Alright, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. So anyway, um I feel like you are gonna be making decisions. You're not really sure what to do, but you're going to make them. You may fight with yourself a little bit, but I feel like with the angel reference, I kind of feel like things are gonna turn out for you, but you may just feel like you're in the middle of a battle before you get what it is that you want. Okay? So, call it. Oh, who would have thought? Two of Swords. King Cups reversed. Five of Wands reversed. Loud. And the Five of Swords. So, <laughs> with this Five of Swords, I really feel like it has to do... Okay, so... Okay. Two of Wands. I mean, Two of Swords decision, right? And I really feel... Like, okay, okay. So what you need to do, one, is look at all the details. And don't deny the truth. You know? If something's going wrong or something's kind of funny to you... Pay attention to the details. Don't just run off because you want something and just make a decision. Because emotionally, obviously, you're wrestling with this shit, like I said, with the decision that you're trying to make. When it comes down to the Five of Swords here, you don't want to make the wrong choice because, you know, you're going to feel like you're going to regret it in <laughs> long run. But with the Five of Wands, I really feel like if you stop pushing it and just look at the picture. Okay, so I hear panorama. So look at the picture as a whole. Don't just look, you don't look at this one little spot. Okay, look at the whole landscape. Think of, think Grand Canyon, okay? If you just look at one part of Grand Canyon, that's one part. There's many more parts of this thing, okay? The grand design of the decision that you have to make, okay? I feel like um, maybe you're afraid to make a decision because you think you're going to regret your decision. And if you're going to regret your decision, if you feel like you're going to do that, maybe wait a little longer before you make the choice. But ultimately, whatever you do, before you make this choice, you make sure that you're factoring in every single truth that you could put in this thing. That way, if you make your decision based on facts, not hope, not hope, honey, that's when it will be the right decision. Okay? Now hope. Now I know you Gemini. And you know. No hope today. Okay? All facts. Gemini Ascendant. Talking to you. Facts. Facts. F-A-C-T-S. Facts. Anyway, so Gemini. K Price from KPrices.com. Check me out for a telling the whole spa reading. No lies, no lies, no lies. Lies look in the mirror, cause I ain't got none for ya.